Hello everyone. President Cyril Ramaphosa has a case to answer to on the origins of the foreign currency that was stolen on his Palapala farm. This was the finding of the independent panel appointed by parliament looking into whether there are grounds for an impeachment. The report found that there are weighty considerations which left the panel in substantial doubt as to whether the stolen foreign currency was the proceeds of sale. There is no evidence as to how this money came into Republic. The exact amount of foreign currency stolen is yet to be disclosed. The investigation by the SARB suggests strongly that it had no records of this money entering this country or being reported as having been received. Other than his name, there are no other particulars of Mustafa Mohammed Ibrahim Hazim, a Sudan national who came to the farm to view the buffaloes, such as physical address, telephone numbers, business address, and other physical details, such as his passport number. Having bought 20 buffaloes, Mr. Hazim has not collected these buffaloes for the past two and a half years. Instead of keeping the money into the safe until the next banking day, the money is kept concealed in a sofa for well over a month. The theft of the money was not reported to the SAPS and no case number or docket is registered. Information placed before the panel suggests that more than $580,000, about 9.9 .9 million rands, was stolen and suspects were arrested, interrogated and cooperated with the investigating team. And yet, no one is charged, prosecuted and convicted. This occurs amid allegation that the suspects were paid 150,000 rands each to buy their silence. The president has since maintained his innocence, despite the damning findings made by the Section 89 panel of experts that he may have committed a serious violation of the law and serious misconduct in terms of the constitution. Ramaphosa said I have endeavored throughout my tenure as president not only to abide by my oath but to set an example of respect for the constitution for its institutions for due process and the law. I categorically deny that I have violated this oath in any way and I similarly deny that I am guilty of any of the allegations made against me. While well, the political parties have in the meantime wasted no time paying for Ramaphosa's blood, calling for him to step down. The ATM leader Vuyo Zongula said, We feel vindicated and we hope that on Tuesday the members of parliament will vote to protect the constitution and the country because we can't have a sitting head of state who has been found by an independent panel for judges that there is a prima facie evidence that he has violated the constitution. The EFF and DA are gunning for Ramaphosa to step down. What's your take on this one people? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.